every time I film, it's like the whole house wants to be noisy. All right, so. <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to ventilation, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oksana with Craft More Design. I have my little man out here. Today we just got this incredible package. I ordered it directly through their website, which is glowforge.com. And I just got the Glowforge Basic. There are also additional Glowforge options, but I just stuck with the basic. This is actually my second laser thinner that I purchased. So the packaging is really nice and secure. It's pretty thick cardboard all around, so you'll definitely need a box cutter to open this baby up. All right, so it was super heavy. So I went ahead and just had my husband and a friend set this up. There are orange tape. Go ahead and just carefully peel those back. Comes with these egg foam crates. Got the beautiful laser camera right there. So in this box right here, it comes with this very, very important piece that I will show you how to connect. Put that there for just a second. Comes with a lens wipe, and I actually purchased a bulk packaging of these lens wipe on Amazon for about 10 bucks. So I will post the link below. And it also comes with this. A lot of people don't know what this is. So this will actually remove the lens in your laser when it comes to your routine cleaning, which is also very important that you do to take care of your laser machines. The install on one side and remove on the other. So just keep that close by and handy. And then the rest of the packaging. Carefully remove everything. So the front foam blocks are removed. Now we're gonna go ahead and just remove these knobs that are right here. And the way to do that is just go ahead and unscrew them and pull them out. And then pull this tab towards you. They are on both sides, so make sure you do the same thing on the other side. All right, and then after you unscrew those, go ahead and remove this orange tape from the laser arm. You don't need to save this tape, so don't worry about that. But you do need to be very careful because it is connected to this wire ribbon. So when you are peeling it, just be very gentle with it. Now we're gonna go ahead and under this glass tube, you're gonna find this orange clip. Go ahead and just push it down and it will pop right off. Whew. That was scary. Also, when you order your Glowforge, it will come with an accessory pack. And in that accessory pack, you'll find your steel crumb tray, your power cord, you'll find that exhaust hose and two ring clamps. So that's kind of everything that you get. Some of the Glowforge also comes with like a starter kit and it has like some basic woods and leathers and you know, little things like that that you can play around with when you get those first cuts. So if you refer to my first unboxing video, which was just for fun, I showed you guys how I set up this exhaust hose into my window. What ended up happening is I live in Georgia, so to any other local Georgia peeps out there, make sure to comment below, where are you from? So I ended up lining all of my ventilation through my window, Georgia humidity, Hello, actually was so thick that I got into the Glowforge and basically caused it to be wet and it damaged my first Glowforge. Here I am getting my second one, trying to run a better ventilation system so that I don't repeat the same mistake with Georgia's humidity. We're gonna do a better ventilation, a little bit more heavy duty, and hopefully we can keep this baby running for a long time. Buy soft air duct from the Glowforge. What I ended up doing was installing this heavy duty ventilation system. We actually had my husband and a buddy of his come out and run it through the top, connecting it between two soft air ducts. 
So with this install, it's a little bit more complicated to set up, but in the long term, it is a much better option. So we ended up having this hard duct right here connect to the remainder of that heavy duty system that I just talked about. This is actually the remote that when I turn this on, it will go ahead and get the fan on and I can control different features with this. And again, I'll post everything in my description below. When I run the Glowforge, I'll turn that on and all of this will start running towards the outside vent. And then take that crumb tray, it's pretty heavy and just slide it in carefully. Make sure the little whip handle is in the front. What's nice about this being removable is that you can come and clean this when all the crumbs get in there. And you'll just go ahead and close in this front door. And now we're gonna snap in the printer head. We'll position the laser arm in the middle plate and carefully pick up this printer head. It does come with this orange foam, so we're gonna carefully pull that out. Make sure you are very, very careful with this printer head. Whatever you do, do not touch any of these camera lenses. What we're gonna do is connect this. So there is a wire ribbon right underneath here. It's this little white thing. Try not to touch that. Pick up this wire ribbon by this black strip. And then we are gonna go ahead and just with the Glowforge facing you, we are gonna push that in to connect. We're gonna go ahead and attach this. It is magnetic, so it's gonna snap on pretty easily so go ahead and just find the two magnetic areas and snap it in so once that's in go ahead and just kind of gently move around make sure it's snapped and voila it is it is important to save all of your packaging in your glowforge box and all of that should you ever need to send it back Typically the Glowforge machines do come with a warranty, even if it's just for a couple months. And you definitely wanna make sure that everything works perfectly, flawlessly before you toss anything. With that accessory kit, you also get this cord on the very back of the Glowforge, if you can see right there. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in, power it on and get this baby up and running. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all, I almost just got electrocuted, so <laughs> whatever you do, just don't do whatever I did. I don't know, just just, just careful, just, just be careful. <laughs> that is pretty much the unboxing of this beautiful, laser machine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, post a comment if you have one or if you want to get one or if you were to get one, what would you make? Let me know in the comments below and until next time, 